Alright guys, today we are headed out here on the Trolls Parade Reserve for Norway and on this occasion I'ma show you every single trophy that I managed to get in the last few days as well as all the amazing locations where I managed to catch such trophies. So the first hotspot I visited while making this video is an area that is quite famous for being able to produce both Diamond Shop and Diamond Bullhead Catfish. It is essentially this location right here, exactly on this shallower area in front of my boat. I mean, you literally don't need to cast out anywhere else, just cast out towards these shallow waters using a hook size number 6 plus leeches or cheese, and odds are that you're gonna catch many silvers for both Shop and Bullhead, potentially many golds, and hopefully some diamonds. Oh, nice tension! Is it a big shop? It is definitely shop! Maybe diamond. Ok, it is only gold. 2.89 kilograms. Big gold. Our new personal base by 0.62 kilograms. I've no idea of what is exactly the diamond weight, but I think it's safe to assume it is not too far from this. Now, as you can see, this is the location where I parked the boat, and I've been casting out mainly towards this shallower area, mainly right here. And honestly, I'm quite surprised with the amount of fish we've been catching from the exact same spot, because it is a small area, and apparently they keep respawning over and over on the same place. Oh, hold up. That's a big shop. Look at the size of that shop. Maybe the biggest one we have seen so far. And I've been catching a lot of calls in the last 30 minutes. Yeah, the tension is quite high. Not too different from the tension of the last call stop. Yeah, 2.94. Another massive gold. I wonder how far it is from diamond. Like, maybe the diamond weight is 3 kilograms. You know, in that case, this guy would be incredibly close. Is that a chop? That thing is massive. Holy. Look at that tension. We may be about to catch a diamond. If this guy is a chop, it has to be diamond. No doubt. Whoa, yeah, let's go. 3.57 kilograms, our first diamond shop. After so many goals, finally. We easily caught like 10 goals on this same session before catching this monster, so it was about time. Finally. And all of them using a hook size number 6 plus either leeches or cheese. Very nice catch. Oh, another diamond shop? It is a chop! So it has to be diamond. It has to be. On a hook size number 5 plus lever this time. Her second diamond chop. 3.8 kilograms. Huge diamond. Way bigger than the last one. Look at the size of this thing. They are such a beautiful species. So now the only reason we have to keep fishing on this spot is the diamond bullhead catfish because we still haven't gotten one and apparently this location is one of the best ones to get one. What is that? It's a chop. Giant chop. I think we're looking at a diamond. Oh! If there was any doubt, just look at that tension. Another diamond, after getting two yesterday. Very nice. We still haven't had the luck to catch a diamond bullhead, but as long as we keep getting these diamond chops, I won't complain. I mean, at some point, one has to appear. Oh, that's a big bullhead, eh? Huge catfish. Yeah, the tension is nice. Not sure if high enough to be diamond, but definitely for gold. And it is a gold, 2.11 kilograms. Our new personal beast. What a monster. 
I think this is only my second ever cold bullhead. Oh, that's gotta be diamond. Yeah, definitely. It is definitely another diamond. No way. What's up with this pot? It is crazy. And look at that weight. 3.96 kilograms are new personal best. And I may be wrong, but I think the record is 4 kilograms. So close. Our biggest shop so far, our biggest diamond shop. Finally another big bullhead, look at the size of that thing. Will that be diamond? It looks pretty big. I think there's a chance. We may be about to catch our first ever diamond bullhead. And it is a gold, 2.23 kilograms, our new biggest bullhead catfish. That's a giant. I really wonder what is the diamond weight. Maybe it is 2.3. I mean, I don't know, but what is true is that we're getting closer and closer from the diamond. It's gonna happen at some point. There's a giant right there, in front of us. I think that is another diamond I saw it. So I'm equipped the hook size number 5 which is for goals and above just on this occasion to make him bite as quickly as possible. Let's see. As you can see he is swimming right there very close to our boat. And now he's about to bite. Look at the size of that shop. Seems we are definitely looking at our fifth diamond of the exact same location, so the only question is how heavy is it? Hopefully massive. 3.89 kilograms, another diamond. Our fifth diamond shop and also massive. Honestly, from all the locations I've tried on the entire game, this one is probably top 3. The amount of goals I've got, excluding the diamonds, is completely insane, probably close to 30 or 40. And the vast majority of them, including the diamonds, have been caught using a hook size number 6 plus leeches. That is definitely the combo you wanna use on this place. Is that a bullhead? Oh. Here is big. Not even sure if it is actually bullhead. Oh wow! Finally! 2.45 kilograms. Our first diamond bullhead, finally! It was about time. I really wanted this diamond. It's such a cool fish. I lost count on how many diamond shops I caught before catching this guy, probably close to 10 or more than 10. You probably won't see them all on the video because I think it's gonna get too repetitive, but yeah, this guy was really tough to get. Several attempts on this location. And finally. And again, all these diamonds and golds have come from pretty much the same spot, right here. I've been casting out all along the shallower area, most of the times using a hook size number 6 plus leeches. So as you could see, this hotspot is undoubtedly one of the best places to get diamonds here on Norway. I mean, we managed to catch more than 10 diamonds in a matter of 3 days, which is insane. And after finally getting exactly what we wanted, which were both a diamond shop and a diamond bullhead catfish, I decided to go to another location with the only intention of catching the legendary Thor Henrik. But let's say that things didn't go as planned. They went a lot better. Now that's a big idea. I don't think I've ever seen a bigger ID, we're right here on this location. The only reason I'm here is because I'm trying to catch a store Henrik. So I'ma do a short cast using a hook size number 4 plus cheese, which is for goals and above in the case of the ID. And I would expect it to bite. Let's see. Okay, there he goes. It is a huge one. Will it be diamond? I think it is a real possibility. 
How big is it? Hits a diamond. Yes. 3.74 kilograms, only 6 grams bigger than our biggest gold. It is barely diamond. Our first diamond ID, so unexpected. And this is literally the first fish I see on this server because I just joined it like 5 minutes ago. Like as I said, the only reason I came to this location was to catch a store Henrik and we ended up catching a diamond. And what a diamond. You have to be kidding me. Look at how big that ID is. On the next session, and on the same store Henrik location, we may be about to catch another diamond ID. Yeah, it is gonna buy the size for hook. It is at least a gold. But I'm more inclined to think it is a diamond because it is massive. Maybe bigger than the last one, it kinda looks bigger to be honest. And it's another diamond. 4.38 kilograms, bigger than the last one, quite bigger. Holy. Who would have thought that we were gonna catch two diamonds before even catching Store Henrik? I mean, that's insane. Completely unexpected. I didn't even know that it was possible to get Diamond ID here. So shortly after catching the two diamonds I just showed you, and after finally managed to get a store Henrik, I decided to head over to another location that recently has been producing tons and tons of diamonds for both brown trout and ID. You know, this area right here in front of this river mouth, in front of the marker, is one of the best places to catch a diamond brown trout here on Norway. And I certainly gonna give credit to a player called The Wizard, who's honestly one of the best players there are for this game, if not the best, and who's giving me some very useful tips to catch more diamonds on some of the locations I'm about to show you. For example, one of the things he recommends when it comes to his location is to use a size 5 spinner to cover both brown trouts and ID, since this is also a great ID hotspot. And another thing he recommends is to arrive to his location around 6 a.m. Oh! Is it in 90? Apparently it is. We are currently using a number 4 spinner, so if it is in 90, it has to be a colt or more. Well, in fact, I think there's a very high chance it is a diamond. Now that I see it from closer, I don't think there's any doubt. No way. Yeah, that's a diamond. 4.76 kilograms. Our new personal best. Our new biggest ID and our third diamond ID. On the same session as the second. I knew it was possible to get him here, but I was not expecting to get one so quickly. I'll take it. I'm here only for the diamond brown trots, but I'll take another ID. I won't complain. Is that? Okay, that is some nice tension. Must be a brown trout. And I definitely wonder if it is a diamond because the tension compared with the rest of the silver sea is insanely high. Has to be a gold, minimum. It is heavy. How heavy? We'll see that in a moment. 12.39, it is a gold. So close. I think the diamond weight is around 13 kilograms. It is actually 90. I saw that guy near the surface before, so I decided to throw a size for hook with cheese. And telling from the size, I would say it is safe to assume it is a diamond. This server is insane. He would be the third diamond on this same session, the third diamond ID. It is promising. Ok, 4.77. Massive diamond. 
One ground bigger than the last one, another personal best. What's going on? I've no idea, the spawns are crazy on this session. And apparently this is something that can happen often on this location because the last week I saw a few players on the official Diangler Discord posting dozens of diamonds scored on this location, so it is crazy, crazy spot. I saw a giant over there. It looked like an ID. And seemingly it is about to bite, there's the nibble. I wanna think it is the same fish. Similar tension to the last diamond ID? So it is most likely another diamond. Where in the world? I mean, first let's confirm it is actually an ID because it could also be a brown trout. Yeah, it is an ID. No shot. 4.43 kilograms, another diamond. This session is completely insane. And this spot as well. Four diamonds on the same server. And five diamond IDs today. In around three hours. I mean, this was simply one of those rare days where diamonds seem to be everywhere, but keep in mind that most days won't be nearly as successful as this one. So don't get discouraged if you don't get a diamond quickly, because usually they take a while to spawn, you know, you may have to catch many silvers and many golds before catching your first diamond of whatever species you are trying to catch. You know, as long as you fish on the known diamond hotspots and you arrive to such locations at the times that are known for producing the best results, you are always gonna have a chance to catch a diamond. A good chance. Now, the next and the last location I visited while making this video is an area that is perhaps not as popular as the others, but in my opinion is the most special. Now, keep in mind that the majority of the trophies I'm about to show you were caught before the latest update, which means that I cannot promise you that this area will be as good as it was before the update, especially because apparently the nighttime is not working properly at the moment, since I've noticed that now it doesn't get dark until like around 20 to 100, and before the update it used to get dark around 19. You know, the problem with this is that now the nighttime fish, like the brim, which used to spawn on this location around 1900, now are gonna spawn mostly around 2200, and they are gonna start despawning around 400 in the morning, which is when the sun comes out after the update. Of course, what this means is that you're gonna have a lot less time to fish for these brims on this location while they are active, which will most likely hinder your chances to catch as many trophies as were being caught before the update. Although I can definitely guarantee you that it's still possible to catch a diamond prime on this location potentially quicker than on any other hotspot due to the fact that I managed to catch one literally right after the update on literally the first attempt. So the only thing you have to do is to come to this location between 1800 and 1830 in the evening and park your boat between these four markers. Maybe you can arrive a bit later after the update, now that the night is shorter, but I recommend you to arrive at this time because before the update that was the time on which most players that had success fishing on this spot arrived to this location, including me. Ok, now going over the setup I recommend using on this spot, first of all I recommend using a feeder rod combined with a size 7 hook plus imitation dog biscuits. You can also use a float zero, but maximum depth combined with a size 7 hook plus bloodworm, but on this case I think the feeder rod is gonna be a better option, especially after the update. Just make sure to be really patient, especially after arriving to a spot around 18.30 in the evening, mainly because you are probably not gonna start getting brims to bite until like 2200, which is the time on which it gets dark after the update. I mean, you can absolutely try arriving to a spot closer to that time, maybe around 2000, but I cannot promise you that you will get the same results. You know, at the end of the day, the most important thing is to come to this location and make sure to cast out all around the boat with a special emphasis on this shallower area close to the rocks. Hold this area. Now, in case you notice, you are not getting many bites close to these rocks even when it's already dark, what I recommend you is to also cast out towards these deeper areas where you are also gonna catch a good amount of brim, most likely on a feeder rod. Oh, that is a nice brim. That's some nice tension. We are using a 7.5 kilogram line using a hook size number 7 plus bloodworm. 
and this brim may be massive. I don't know exactly how massive because I cannot see it. So let's land it. Oh! Oh, no way! No way! It's a diamond! I was not expecting it to be diamond. I thought it was a gold at most. I mean, the tension was high, but it didn't look that high to me compared to some of the silvers I caught before this one. Arguably the rarest diamond in the game. We finally have it. Our first ever diamond brim. Okay, this intention again? Not too different from the line tension of the diamond? So, is this another diamond brim? It is hard to imagine. 5.1 kilograms. What a giant. Unfortunately, not big enough to be diamond, but I'll take it. Very nice catch. Oh, holy! Look at that tension! I wanna think it is actually Brim. I mean, we can barely move it. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of this Brim. Oh my god. That's a diamond, of course. Nine point forty five kilograms. More than twenty pounds. I can't believe it. Her second diamond brim, and it is an absolute monster. It is very close to the community record, which is nine point forty eight. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it is gigantic. Gigantic. I would have never imagined I would manage to get one this big, especially being such a rare diamond. Oh, that is big. That is big. That is a giant brim. Might be a small diamond. Come on. Yeah, that's a giant. It would be amazing if it is the third diamond brim. But this one is only gold. 5.36 kilograms. Massive gold. I've been getting a lot of roaches in the last like 20 minutes, so I'm glad to finally see another decent brim. Alright guys, I just saw an absolute giant brim jumping right in front of us and apparently it is about to bite. It is taking line. It is taking line. You know what that means. I mean, I side jump, it was clearly a brim. And here we have it. Look at how big it is. Unbelievable. Another diamond. How heavy is it? Whoa. 9.34 kilograms. Oh my god. The third diamond brim. After getting the second yesterday and the first one a couple days ago. And this is another monster above 20 pounds. It's like 20.5 pounds, something like that. As you can see, this is the hotspot right here. I've been casting out mainly towards these rocks, towards this shallower area, but it is possible to catch them all around the boat. Holy! Are you gonna tell me that is another diamond brim? You know, the tension is clearly not as high as the last one, but I think it is high enough to consider it a diamond potential. 
Will this be our fourth time on Prim? Oh my god, there is a Prim. As expected. It is a giant. And I think it is a diamond. Let's see. Yes, 6.69. On the same server as the last one. Second diamond prim in a span of 30 minutes. And our fourth one in total. This location is crazy. I would say it is undoubtedly the best place to get a diamond prim currently. So many people have been getting diamonds here recently. You need to try it. No shot! That's diamond tension right there. Holy! I barely got any bites the whole night, and apparently this guy will be our first diamond after the new update. You know, the night is very short now, so this pot is not nearly as good as it was before the update, but it's good to know that it's still possible to catch big prim here. Well, first let's see if this one is actually diamond, because the tension is on the limit. Maybe an absolute monster of a gold. It is absolutely massive. I think it is actually diamond. Yeah, it's a diamond. 6.08 kilograms, barely diamond. It is the smallest diamond brim we have gotten so far. I'm really glad we caught this monster because that confirms that it is still possible to catch a diamond prim on this location regardless of it not being nearly as good as it was before the update. I mean it is a shame. It is a shame because it was truly a game changing spot when it came to fishing for a diamond prim. So many players were having success here catching many diamonds and apparently now it is gonna be quite harder. But it's definitely good to know that it's still possible.